Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata, today is the 1st of August and I'm here as always to give you a daily dose of the latest gaming news. Today I have some news for you concerning Sony and of course the PS4 as they have revealed their profits and losses for this first financial quarter which is of course the three months ending June 30th and they have revealed that in that three month period they did generate sales of uh, 118 billion yen, which is about 789 million pounds or 1.2 billion dollars, which is essentially a carbon copy of the same quarter this time last year, where they again made 118 billion yen. And Sony said this figure was reached by a mixture of slowing hardware sales, which you might expect with the console generation ending and of course a new console generation just on the horizon, but an uptake in software sales as well. Uh, unit sales of PS3, PSP and PS2 hardware all fell, um, but unfortunately there was no mention of PS Vita sales in this particular section. However, this loss was offset by the favourable impact of foreign exchange rates and of course, as mentioned previously, the increase in game sales. Now, they did bundle together the PS3 and PS2 in its home console sales figures, despite the fact that the PS2 is, well, a little bit old now to say the least and it also did the same for the Vita and the PSP for the handheld numbers. So we've got combined PS3 and PS2 hardware sales which came in at 1.1 million for the quarter which is compared to the 2.8 million of last year or combined PS Vita and PSP sales totaled 600,000 which is again down from 1.4 million. However software sales for all platforms hit 64 million units which is up from the 43 million of last year. Now despite the fact that software sales are doing much better in comparison to the previous year, um, the PlayStation division's operating losses increased by 11 billion yen, which is about 75 million pounds or 114 million dollars, and reached about 15 billion yen total, which is about 99 million pounds or 150 million dollars, which is a significant rise, which is probably putting quite a healthy squeeze or unhealthy, depending on your perspective, on their profit margins. And they have said that unsurprisingly this increase in costs was primarily down to research development costs relating to the PS4 and undoubtedly the production as well. And Despite these slightly mm, doom and gloom figures, the full year forecast for PlayStation hardware and software sales remains unchanged. And again, this is despite the growing interest in the PS4. Of course, when this financial year ends, the PS4 will be released. Um, Sony does expect a shift to a combined total of 10 million PS3 and PS2 units, 5 million PSP and PS Vita units, and 319 million games. As a whole company, know, Sony's revenues were up 13% year on year to 1712.7 billion yen, which is about 11.5 billion pounds or 17.3 billion dollars, which helped it swing from a loss of 24.6 billion yen, which is about 165 million pounds or 259 million dollars to a profit of 3.5 billion yen, which is 23 million pounds or 35 million dollars. So, despite the fact that they're taking a little bit of a hit in the console division. Sony as a company are doing much better in comparison to this time last year. Now you would expect of course PS3 sales to be falling off a bit with as I said a new console generation just on the horizon and the Vita was never exactly taking the world by storm to begin with so a little bit of a downslide as we head towards the PS4 release is to be expected and of course an increase in costs is to be expected for pretty much the same reasons. The PS4 is probably going to cost them quite a bit of money in the first instance 
as they usually do sell at a loss at the start, but as things start to pick up, well, then, of course, the margins for profit and loss will start to improve. But despite the operating losses increasing, of course, that is most likely going to be replaced by what is undoubtedly going to be a success for the PS4. I doubt anyone is expecting the PS4 to not do insanely well on launch, especially considering that they just issued a UK-wide um, pre-order ban. Well, not ban, but, um, but restriction uh, due to supply and demand. So... Hopefully um, it will get a little bit better in the console sales and the PlayStation division of Sony as a company, but it's not looking too bad for the company itself, so fingers crossed that things continue to improve. It's never good to see a company like Sony in trouble like they were this time last year, so I'm very pleased to see that despite some increase in losses in certain areas as a company, they are doing much better, which is always encouraging to see. Anyway, that is me done for this video. hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.